y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new this is going to be my christmas 2023 marathon this is where i take all of my videos for the season and combine them into one three hour long marathon so you can put this on your tv or your phone or your tablet and get some cozy christmas vibes or some more decor inspiration or whatever you're here for i really hope you enjoy these marathons tend to do really well on my channel and a lot of people seem to enjoy them so i wanted to go ahead and get this live before thanksgiving because i know that is when a lot of people do their Christmas decorating but I really hope you guys enjoy this Christmas marathon and you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and give today's video a like and I really hope you enjoy and thank you again for being here to be part one of my Christmas decorate with me for 2023. I am beyond excited to share this video with you guys. I definitely think this is the best decor I've ever done. I know that's saying that every single time, but I really mean it this time. <laughs> but I'm so excited to share it with you. I'm also doing a giveaway in today's video. So make sure you stick around for the details on that. I will talk more about that later. And I'm also doing a collaboration with Rebecca Frazier. And I have been friends with her forever now. And then we're finally doing a collab. I'm so excited to be collaborating with her, especially on a Christmas video. Her decor is absolutely beautiful. So I will talk more about her later as well. But I really hope you guys are excited. I've got my hot cocoa and I'm going to edit this video and get it live for you guys because like I said, I am just beyond excited to share it with you. So let's get into this clean and decorate. I really hope you enjoy. One of my absolute favorite ways to make my home feel super cozy for the holidays is to use scented cleaners. And I wanted to say thank you to Cap and Queen for sending me their Mary Berry scent and their Holiday House scent. They smell amazing. I was using the Holiday House scent in this clip, but I cannot wait to use the Mary Berry one. So I will have all of that linked in my description. I wanted to do a little haul because I did pick up a few new things since I did like my big haul. So I wanted to share those with you guys, but I am so excited about all this stuff. It's so cute. So just a really quick haul. I just want to say where I like, I got everything because I'll probably have questions. This is from TJ Maxx. It's so cute. I feel like it's going to look like the tree that I put in the dining room. So I think that's so cute. I got this little guy, but I think I'm going to use him like facing this way. I just thought he was adorable. And then I found this beautiful brass and marble tree. And then these were, this was TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. This nutcracker, I've been wanting one like this, like this size. This was TJ Maxx as well. Oh my gosh, I was so excited about these little light up houses. These were also TJ Maxx. So excited about those because I've been looking for something to go in that tray. And these are just the perfect thing for that. I found some more um, Martha Stewart ornaments. I thought these were beautiful. I'm going to try to put them on the tree in the dining room because I feel like they'd look really beautiful there and I really want some red ornaments. So I found these at Target and actually, so this and this wreath and this wreath all Target. So I think I'm gonna pick the berries off of these um, because I have an idea for them. Also, how cute are these trees? I don't know if I'll use them in today's video, but I just thought those were so cute just to pop somewhere. And then I have that wreath. I think I'm gonna use it on the hutch and I'll show you the advent calendar, but y'all, <laughs> I might've got a little carried away and got the cats. 
a Christmas tree. <laughs> um, so I saw, actually it started with the stockings. I saw the stockings and I was like, oh my gosh, how cute are these little $3 stockings? And I sent a picture to my husband. I was like, can I please get the cat's stockings? And he said, yes. So <laughs> that's how it started. So I have a red, a green and two white. So I was going to like layer those in a pattern like this. And then I turned around and I saw little Christmas trees and they had like the little skirt and the little ornaments. And I was like, okay, I was like, I'm going to get the cats a tree. <laughs> and then I found this. How cute. I was thinking about making this like the topper somehow, but I thought that would be so cute for the cats. And then I also found this advent calendar. I've actually been eyeballing this for a little while at TG Maxx and I love it. It lights up and I'm just so excited to like, I got some Hershey Kisses to put in it. And I think the girls will be really excited each morning, like before school. I don't know if I mentioned that I got this candle at TG Maxx, not like I needed another candle, but I love the mercury glass and I love the tree candles. Also, I have this, um, the Nutcracker, that little tree, and what else? There was something else. And the Advent Calendar, uh, and the Gingerbread. Those all have been there the past few times I went, and, like, I kept picking it up and putting it back because I was like, I don't need it, but then I really just wanted it. So I went, to, went ahead and got those today because I was really excited. But, yeah, I just wanted to do, like, a little mini haul in case, um, because I'm sure people will be, like, wondering where I got things that were not included in, like, my big haul. So now let's get to decorating. It's every time the snow is This is sort of what I was thinking for these floating shelves. I have this picture from an antique mall. I think I thrifted those at Goodwill and then I thrifted that at Goodwill. I thrifted the little bell wreath at Goodwill and then the Nutcracker was TJ Maxx, but I just think it's so cute and simple. We have a picture of us with Chef Mickey and just a couple of Christmas touches to make it fun for the holidays. I really love the way this area turned out, especially like when we get to the rest of the decor, it'll kind of flow and it'll be really pretty and I can't wait to see how it turns out. I had mentioned earlier that I was doing a collaboration with Rebecca and she is seriously the sweetest. Love her to pieces and I know you guys will too. So really quick, I'm just gonna let her tell you about herself. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. My name is Rebecca and I live in Canada with my husband Chris and our sweet puppy Holstein. I'm so happy to be collabing with Tori on today's Christmas Decorate with me. She is the absolute sweetest and with my Christmas decor this year, I'm definitely going very traditional and incorporating lots of golds and reds and greens. I will have lots more Christmas decorating coming up in the coming weeks and I would love it if you would stop by and say hi. I absolutely love Rebecca's channel. She always has the best decor inspiration. But if you are here from Rebecca's channel, my name is Tori. I also really love to make decorating videos and I am so glad you popped on over and I really hope you will enjoy today's video and subscribe and stick around for more. And no one cares about Oh my gosh, y'all, this is like the best Christmas decor I think I've ever done. I know I say that every time, but I'm just like in love with everything. It is just all the pops of green and gold. And I really do like that tree there. I think I'm gonna leave it there. And this is my favorite kitchen towel I think I've ever found for Christmas. I just think it's so festive and beautiful. I love the colors, just the perfect Christmas colors. And then, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Everything just turned out so beautiful. I love it. I love how I used like some vintage pieces with the brass and we've got like the greenery and the red. Totally in love and obsessed with this wreath from Kirkland's. It is missing like I don't know what it is about like it's it's like not got lights on this side but it's okay. I was gonna add more lights but I think it's fine and I love I just added the bells and the ribbon and then I have like just a slight whimsical touch with my little gingerbread man there and these little Santa salt and pepper sellers that I've had. I've had these for a few years and they are starting to look like, I don't know if you can see like the, whatever that's called. <laughs> um, like, is it called like 
crazing or grazing. I don't know what it's called. Anyways, um, got the ribbon here. I love just like the chiffin ribbon. It's so simple. And I always try to do, well, I say always, but I did this for fall and Halloween. It turned out so beautiful and I love it for Christmas as well. Just got like the little stems in here and then the colored candles just like for fall i did orange and now christmas i'm doing red and i've got this beautiful glass candle love that i've had that for a couple years i've never lit it i think i will light it this year but i've also got these um these were from that antique mall um that i went to over the summer i do believe and i love those they're just so pretty and they add like that vintage touch but i really love how everything has come out so far and later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Merry Christmas Day y'all i thought i liked this area but this area <laughs> oh my gosh it looks so good i just had a vision like i told lewis i was like i really want some like droopy garland and that norfolk pine garland doesn't work for this idea it's like too stiff if that makes sense but i found this garland at michael's and it's got that droopiness to it and it was really affordable i think it was originally 19.99 but they did have like a 40 percent discount and then i was just imagining like the wreaths and the bow hanging down just like a simple little chiffon bow and all the lights i'll turn the lights off so y'all can see oh my gosh y'all should ask my husband <laughs> I got home with these I was like babe I found the perfect little houses I was so excited I was doing my happy dance I was like these are perfect because y'all know I love my little brass tray up here and I was looking for some little houses that I could put in the little brass tray because that's what I was like envisioning and I finally found these I found them today like last minute <laughs> and then very very simple over here just put some more light up trees and then this candle which I'm gonna light all these candles at the end get it feeling really cozy in here and then again I just pulled those berries off of these little hearth and hand wreaths tied a bow on them and they were perfect for what I was thinking I know they had some at Hobby Lobby that were like really pretty too but I wanted if it makes sense I wanted like the wispy looking ones <laughs> like the that had more like you know they flow out a little bit more the ones at Hobby Lobby were a little bit like not skinny what's the word I'm looking for I don't know but if you know what I mean <laughs> but this turned out like I just have no words. I'm so excited. I can't, let me turn off the lights so y'all can see like all, oh, and then I also thought about putting lights up here. So let me know what you think about that. The only lights I have do not have a timer. So I'm not going to do it right now, but let me know what you think about that. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot, I cannot look at it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me turn that light off. So it's going to be like even better. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it's so cozy in here. Okay, I do think we need lights up there, but I'm gonna go get some from Target with like the timer. Oh my gosh, I can't even with these little houses. They're adorable. Bring on the evergreen. Keep the chimney clean. You know what I mean, cause tomorrow super simple here on the hot cocoa bar because like I've said before my husband makes his coffee here every single day so I didn't want too much going on and this like uh, just real world stuff that like, not everything in these videos goes perfect I washed this out and I, I thought I dried it pretty good but I guess there was still a little bit of water in it but it's okay and then I just put some marshmallows I did thrift all these but I think Target has some in the dollar spot and I got my little Ray Dunn mug and I just have this sign from last year like I said, just kept it super simple, and I really love the way it came out. I think it is so cute. Christmas is on its merry way, and for every single child, there's a gift on Santa's sleigh. The first flake of snow is said to fall. This is our Christmas 2023 kitchen. I'm gonna move on to the dining room, but I wanted to kind of just show a little overview because I am literally obsessed with everything. So I lit all these candles except that one because you know, the Norfolk pine stems are right there, <laughs> but um, that one is far enough away where it's not gonna mess, but I'm not gonna leave them lit. I just wanted to get it feeling a little cozy in here, but I love everything. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. Literally, everything is so beautiful. This is probably like my favorite area. I don't know, it's tied between like this area because look at this. Look how cute, look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, I love it. Everything just looks so cute. The red ribbon makes such a difference. Just all the pops are red off the white cabinets and even just the red off the black bar stools, the little gold bells, love everything so much. It turned out so good, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, I can't wait until like it's Christmas and we just got like a cozy kitchen and it's nice and clean. I love everything. I can't wait to get the rest of the house decorated. So I'm gonna move on to the dining room. Oh, it's Christmas time. I feel sad I can't help it. Got you on my mind. I don't know how to call this. It's Christmas time And I need you
Here's our little cat corner. I think it turned out so cute and the cat's been over here like playing with it. I have to like catch them on camera playing with it. But if you've never like done this, if you have cats especially, like so far they love it. They keep coming over here and sniffing it and like batting at the little balls and stuff. I like to try to catch them on camera doing it. Every time I start recording, they quit. But I love the little topper. I think it's so cute. Everything just turned out so cute. I love it. Like I said, if you've never done this and you have cats, this was like a super affordable little $10 tree, $5 I think for the ornaments, $5 for the little skirt. So $20 for the little tree, $3 ornament, um, and then these were $3 each. So affordable, so cute, and I'm gonna put their little like treats and stuff. We'll probably get them like some little treats and some new toys and we can put their little um, gifts under the tree for them. That'll just be so cute. <laughs> Don't bite it. <laughs> Why you bite, hi. Why you bite? Look, you play with it. <laughs> Don't bite it. <laughs> She's like biting the ornaments. <laughs> it's fun to play. So really quick while I'm decorating the hutch, I wanted to talk about today's giveaway. So I will be giving away a Minka Pot from Anthropology, and the winner will get to choose between either a black one or a white one. You guys know I love my Minka Pots. So it will actually be the small size. And um, so they have the extra small, the small, medium, and large. I do have the medium, small, and extra small. So the small size is actually the one I'll be giving away. And I'll let the winner pick between the black one or the white one, or also $50 cash if they'd rather just have the cash, that's totally fine. But all you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed, like today's video, and leave me a comment with a Santa emoji. And that is all you have to do to enter the giveaway. And I really hope you guys enjoy. small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh it gives me joy that everyone's having a good good time I hear the jingle bells people singing about love it feels like I'm a kid like I'm forever young and that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way Reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. No, it's the time of year, winter wonderland. <laughs> my winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. A little bit of trial and error with the hutch, but I really love the way it came out. I really love it. Like, I think it's so beautiful. This, these little trees are just the cutest little thing to me. I found them at Target. I just think they're so cute. The advent calendar, I showed it to the girls. They're so excited about it. I don't think I've ever seen them get so excited over something like this, but they're so excited. This will be our first year, surprisingly, doing anything like this. I don't know how I've never, like, ended up doing anything like this for them, but... 
think that's so cute. I love how it lights up. And then I've got my little dough bowl. I did do a whole video on like dough bowl styling and tray styling. So if you want to check that out, I'll have it linked or it's also on my channel. And then I love these. Again, I did this in my little tray and dough bowl styling video. I think this turned out so cute. And the little houses, I was, I, I had a little bit of trial and error with the houses, but I like the way that they look. I think they look really good. If I could just get these to like stay down, <laughs> um, maybe if I took the, it may be too messy if I do that. If I took all these off and try to like do it like I did the tray in the window, I have this little tree that I thrifted. I've had that for a couple years. I filled it with the leftover Hershey Kisses. So I did uh, fill these up. I put two Hershey Kisses in each one and I told the girls we have to wait till December 1st to start. And um, I put every other one has the hot cocoa Hershey Kiss and every other one has the cookies and cream and then they all each have like a regular Hershey kiss. So I'll let them figure out which one they want each night. But I have the little Target light up houses. These are so pretty. And I also did find a nativity set that's kind of like, kind of looks like this at Target. And I can't wait to show that to you guys in my next video. And then I added some lights to the wreath, which I think was a really good call. Cause I think it just like completed the look, but didn't it turn out so beautiful? I love it so much. I really love the way it came out this year. I just think it's perfect. It's exact, exactly what I was envisioning. So I actually added those little bells up there. And so this is one of those Hobby Lobby bell picks. So it has four bells, but I actually, all I did was like tuck it by, behind my cutting boards. Uh, my phone was charging whenever I was doing that part, but I just tucked one of the bells back there cause I just wanted three bells. But I think that just like completed that little wreath up there. I think it's so cute. <laughs> So this is my new Christmas tree to go in here and it is from King of Christmas and they did gift this to me. So I want to say thank you to King of Christmas for gifting me this tree and I will have more info on it. I'll do like a voiceover and everything, but I already opened it because well, for one, I was too excited and for two, I just wanted to like, sh you know, see how the lights worked and all that. And y'all, this is the prettiest tree I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> like, it is gorgeous. And so I'm going to set it up really quick. I'm also really worried because it is a nine-foot tree. So I originally got this to go in the living room, but then we bought that viral Home Depot one. So I'm going to see if it'll work right here. I may have to get Lewis to scoot the hutch over, but we're going to find out in just a second. And <laughs> I got a little helper here that's probably going to be helping me in the way. <laughs> she's going to be in the way, but she's going to be helping me. <laughs> Okay, so the tree is definitely large. So Lewis actually moved the hutch over and it's not like centered with the table anymore. Like, as you can see, <laughs> it's not centered with the table anymore. And I'm also like not, I don't know. I really love these ornaments. I think they're so pretty, but I keep looking at the color and I don't know how I feel about that. But that gave the tree a lot more room because the tree is very, very large. <laughs> so um, we're gonna finish setting it up, but I think it doesn't look too bad in here. It's just for Christmas, just for the tree to be there. But this tree, y'all, is so beautiful. And it has like all these different light settings. I have to find the remote, but it has like a little petal thing and all these different light settings. I'm gonna like finish fluffing it and finish setting it up and then we will decorate it. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. All right, I got it most of the way fluffed, but it is like one of those like more skinny, minimal, like sparse trees. So this is about as fluffed as it gets, but I wanted like, see what I mean about this little towel? Like once I put red ornaments on it, I was like, oh, it'll look like my little towel. But I thought it was really cute. And I don't know, maybe I should have got, cause the star didn't fit on top. That was my bad. But maybe I should have got the smaller one, like the seven and a half foot or the eight foot. But it does come with a bag, which is really nice. Cause I hate how the trees, never fit back down in the box just right they you know it's better to have the bag and it just comes with a bag it comes with gloves for fluffing also comes with this remote so i'll show you it has like all these different settings so like there's that setting and i'm just pressing these buttons this is my favorite setting i think and you can also like there's like the dimmer you can like turn it down 
you can turn it back up. Um, I really like that setting. But they have like a strobe setting. And I told Lewis, I was like, I don't think I can handle the strobe setting. That one right there. Oh, it's like, I don't know if you're having a party, I guess. <laughs> that one. <laughs> um, but this, I think, oh, this one I think is my favorite. Just the twinkle. I think that's beautiful. And then my collar didn't work. So I'm going to put that blanket under there. I think that'd be beautiful. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then we will decorate. Because I think this is about as fluffed as it's going to get. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people use blankets as like a tree skirt if they didn't have anything on hand. That, I've never done it before, but it actually worked really well. So definitely a good tip <laughs> to remember if your tree collar doesn't work because this tree was too big for the tree collar I got at Hobby Lobby for it. So I actually saw this tip on Instagram. If you take these disco ball ornaments and put them towards the middle of your tree that it actually reflects more light. I bought these ornaments before I saw that tip, but I wanted to try that out. And I actually do think it really helped because you'll see like I'll show close up how it looks. Um, it's like sort of reflecting more light, but I thought that was a really good tip. So if you have disco ball ornaments, definitely give it a try. do on this tree for tonight I may have to add some to it later like I'm gonna have to get a different topper and add some to it but for tonight it's getting super late so I think that's gonna wrap up this video and I really do love how these disco ball ornaments twinkle with the lights it's so pretty it just adds a lot more but I really like how it turned out <laughs> but other than that I have to add a little bit more i figure out what I want to do but I really love it for now All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir. So here is my Christmas 2023 finished kitchen and dining room. I'm so excited, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this beautiful tree. Thank you, King of Christmas, again for sending me this tree. This is growing on me. Let me know what you think about it. I may have to tweak it, but for now, it's okay. I love the hutch. It turned out so beautiful. Look at that beautiful tree next to this hutch. All the colors just look so good. I love these little trees. I think they're so cute. I love that little calendar. Everything up here, just so beautiful. <laughs> I love everything. Even the little kitty cat tree is so cute. Oh my goodness, isn't it? I actually was gonna put some twinkle lights on that and I forgot, but it's totally fine. Um, not a big deal. So can we just take a second? Look at the way the tree is like reflecting off of the window. Everything is just so magical. Oh my goodness. I love it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Oh. I love this so much. I just can't believe how beautiful everything turned out. So excited. This is like my favorite view. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness. I love those little houses. They're perfect. Everything is just perfect. Literally the perfect Christmas. This candle was perfect for this. <laughs> um, I love these little bar stools. You can see they're kind of getting a little messed up. They're not put up there very good. I'm gonna have to figure something else out better to secure those so they won't fall. But simple little hot cocoa station. Beautiful. Ah, oh, I just love it. Love everything so much. I'm gonna turn out the lights so you can see it in all of its glory. This is such a vibe, y'all. It is so cozy in here. Oh my goodness, I love everything. Look at that big, beautiful tree. Oh, so excited. This is exactly what I envisioned. I just wanted something that was really cozy and like, let's see if I can get it to focus. Look at the little houses. I can't even exactly what I was thinking. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Oh, I think I am gonna add some lights up here. Let me know what you think. I think I need to. I think it needs lights, but it's so beautiful. 
Come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time. Smile, my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. or welcome if you're new my name is Tori Flores and today is part two of my Christmas 2023 decorating series today we are tackling the living room and the entryway and um, I am adding a couple of new pieces to the kitchen not a whole lot but a couple of things that I found that I'm really excited about I'm also doing a collaboration with the Brianna K, and I'm so excited. She is literally the reason I'm here today, that I'm here on YouTube, because she was the very first YouTuber I ever started watching. I love her so much. Love her channel. I've been watching her channel ever since. She had her daughter Presley, which I know that was quite some time ago, so I'm really, really excited to be doing that collaboration. I will also be doing a giveaway in today's video for $100. So make sure you stay tuned for the details on that. And if you missed part one, we did decorate the kitchen and the dining room. So I'll have that video linked. And I was also doing a giveaway in that video for the black or white Minka pot or $50 cash. Um, so make sure you uh, ch check out that video if you haven't already, if you wanna enter that giveaway. And yeah, let's get to decorating. I am so excited for you guys to watch this video. Thank you so much for being here. Before we get to decorating, I had mentioned earlier that today's video was going to be in collaboration with Brianna K, and I am so excited about this collaboration because I have followed Brie for many, many years, and I love her to pieces. We have been friends on Instagram for a little over a year, and she is seriously the sweetest human ever. I know you guys are going to love her. If you don't already know who she is, she is a mom of three from Ohio, and she does lots of mommy vlogs and cleaning motivation, day in the life vlogs. Love her channel. She has some of the best decor inspiration ever. I know you guys are going to love her. So whenever you're done here, make sure you head on over to Bree's channel and let her know that I sent you in the comments. But before we get to decorating also, I wanted to give the kitchen and the living room a quick clean. And I'm using my Cap and Queen cleaner in the Mary Berry scent, which left my whole house smelling amazing like seriously like christmas heaven i love this cleaner so much i always love to i feel like it makes your home feel so cozy for the holidays just to use like the scented cleaners and the scented candles it gets it just feeling so festive and so cozy so i just wanted to give everything a really quick wipe down but i'll also have the link to the Mary Berry scent, which is Cap and Queen's December scent. So I'll have that link to my description as well. So lucky 
to have a place that I can come home to. Okay, we have a fresh, clean, blank slate to start decorating. I don't think you guys have seen some of the updates we've made in here. And then just ignore all the Christmas decor. That's just a little bit of reality. Um, but we have these new shelves on each side of the fireplace. And um, they're 36 inch shelves. I love those. And then Lewis also hung this mantle. It is absolutely beautiful. I am so sorry if my voice sounds off. I think I am like, I don't know if it's my allergies or a little cold I'm coming down with, but um, I love this thing. I'm so excited to decorate it. We went back and forth between maybe doing a gallery wall here, but I decided to do a mantle because we have the TV on this mantle. So I can only do like minimal decor down here at the bottom. And now I have more space to decorate. Um, so yeah, we have blank slate and I wanted to come over here and show you guys my little subtle touches of gingerbread in the kitchen I love it so much I really love this new little gingerbread cookie jar I found this at the Target dollar spot I really really wanted the one from Pottery Barn I'm sure you guys have seen it if you um have watched a lot of like Christmas decorating videos but I just don't have Pottery Barn kind of money so I'm really glad I found this one at the Target dollar spot I think this is just so cute love it so much and then I have my little gingerbread man cutting board over there and then if we come over here we also have this new gingerbread glass jar which i really love i saw that actually on another i think it was another youtubers shop with me and i'm so glad i found it because i really wanted it but i really love the subtle pops of gingerbread in here it's like a little bit whimsical without going over the top like in your face gingerbread but i think it looks it looks so beautiful i actually really like the red on this as well i think it adds a lot to this space i also do have a couple of updates to make to our little cat corner so i'm gonna do that really quick and then we'll start decorating the living room. some treats down there so I could get them to all come over here. Ginger doesn't get involved with nothing. She doesn't like her siblings, which makes me sad, but also, you know, I can't blame her. They are annoying. <laughs> but look at my babies. Oh, do you love your tree? They're like, yeah, we want some more treats, mom. <laughs> They're like, where are the treats? I threw a couple treats down there. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. 
I love it. All the little kitties. All the little kitties. They're so precious. Hi, what are you doing? She's like, give me some more treats, mom. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna start by styling these floating shelves and y'all bear with me because I'm very new at styling floating shelves. So I'm gonna play, I'll be honest with you, I did already sort of play with this stuff. I brought out everything I thought I might wanna use. I've already sort of started styling it because I knew it would take forever if I didn't like try to do it and then this video would be like an hour long. But um, I've got, I think it's a mix of like, so this is Target, Target. This is from my friend's consignment shop. These are thrifted, thrifted books. I did pick up a new, I have one of these in the dining room, but then I picked up another one um, from Target. This is from Hobby Lobby. I just had some ribbon on it. I've got this Threshold Target Nativity set, and I'm so excited about it, it's so beautiful. And also, I found this angel at TJ Maxx, and it really matches, like, look how beautiful that is. I love the glazed look to it, it's so pretty. And then this, see how pretty that is? And it matches so well, and that's Target TJ Maxx. I have this vase that I've had for a little while from Hobby Lobby, tied some red ribbon, I already styled these to get them just right. And then I just have some frames that I've had for a little while with some Etsy prints on them. I really just printed them from my computer with like just regular printer paper, to be honest. Like I wasn't fancy and didn't go to, and the cats are fighting, of course. <laughs> they're like getting into the Christmas decor and they're fighting with each other. Always, um, always entertainment around here. But yeah, so I'm gonna start with, I don't know which side. I think I'm gonna start with that side but I don't know why, but I'm gonna start with that side and then we're gonna play with this decor. I really think these floating shelves turned out so good. I love them. Like I said, I'm really new at decorating floating shelves, but I think it turned out good, especially for being new at it. And I would normally have put like the angel on that side and put the trees over here, but I wanted the angel to be above my nativity scene. And I just love it so much. It's so pretty, like the detail on it. I just love it. It's gorgeous. And then I love the angel. I love the bell with the red ribbon and the tree print the little trees, everything. I just love everything. And then this side, it's really hard to pick a favorite. Um, I love them both. <laughs> I just feel like the mix of like the brass and the wood shelves and the green and the red. And I feel like um, these are like my newest obsession. <laughs> I told my husband that I want to have like a whole collection of these beautiful like Martha Stewart glass ornaments. I just think they're so pretty. I found those at TJ Maxx and I just love them so much. But I really love this mix of colors for Christmas. It just makes me so happy. <laughs>
So I still don't know how I feel about this, but I saw the idea on Pinterest and I thought it was super cute with the little bells and the little names. And I definitely felt like it was too much ribbon because to begin with, I tried to tie them on the same ribbon and it just didn't work. And then I actually found this green, um, like little thin green ribbon. So I used that and I think it looks a little bit better, but I may like tweak it a little bit. I don't know. I saw the idea on Pinterest and like I said, I was like in love with the idea. Sometimes we try the ideas and they just don't turn out exactly how we thought. But that's okay. I think I'm just going to leave it because I, I don't know, spending way too much time on this. <laughs> I worked really hard on it. Okay, I'm just checking in. I just got done decorating the fireplace area. I am so excited to decorate the tree and get it looking super cozy in here. Oh my gosh, I love this Norfolk pine garland, but I will tell you it is a little bit of a pain to get it just right. Um, I thought that idea was super cute. I love that, how that turned out. And then I had some little wreaths for these lanterns and they've been outside, I really need to clean them. Um, but I had some, wreaths and they didn't fit in there i had bought some christmas wreaths to like stick under the candles and they didn't fit so um i just still really love these shelves but i'm gonna continue on decorating so we can get the tree done and everything i feel like these turned out pretty cute not exactly what i was thinking but i still feel like i like them so um yeah <laughs>
quick, I wanted to talk about today's giveaway. So the prize will be $100, either PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, whatever the winner prefers to use. Um, but it will be $100. And all you have to do to enter is like today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And also leave me a comment and let me know if you have any traditions that you love to do for Christmas or any that you have created with your family, just traditions that you did as a child or created with your family. Also, I would love to know when you guys start decorating for Christmas and drop me a Christmas tree emoji in the comments and you will be entered in today's giveaway. So by the time we got to setting up the tree and I had gotten done decorating, it was about 10 p.m. and it was getting late. The girls were getting a little cranky. So we decided that we're actually going to wait to decorate the tree whenever we're all feeling fresh and up to it. We were all just like really tired and ready to be done decorating for the day. So I think I will have another decorating video with the tree decorating and we'll probably do like I don't know, maybe some cozy Christmas things. Like we did get some gingerbread houses to decorate, so maybe we could include that in the video and do like a gingerbread decorating contest or something fun like that. But um, I wanted to let you guys know that we will not be decorating the tree in today's video as much as I thought we would and wanted to. It just wasn't happening this day, but that's okay. You know, these videos aren't always perfect, um, but you know, that's just real life. But I still really love the way that all my decorations came out so far. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's Christmas decorating video and don't forget to check out Bree's channel. I'll have her video linked in my description and let her know that I sent you and don't forget to enter my giveaway and thank you so much for watching. Oh
y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Tori and today's video is going to be part three of my Christmas 2023 decorating series and today we are decorating our bedroom for Christmas I'm so excited my husband wanted to go for a very neutral vibe in here so that is what we are doing and I really love I truly love traditional red and green but he really likes neutrals and I also do enjoy neutrals they are very calming and cozy so I'm really excited because it gives me a chance to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and play with some new styles but I'm really excited for you guys to watch this video and I really hope you enjoy thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching y'all already know I had to start by giving the room a really good wipe down and vacuuming and today I'm using my cap and queen cleaner in the Mary Berry scent which is their December scent and it smells so good y'all like it just smells like I'm walking down the Christmas aisles at Target and <laughs> it just smells amazing and it gets me so excited for Christmas so I'll have that linked in my description so if you want to get your Mary Berry scent to make your house smell amazing for Christmas I'll have that linked and yeah so we're gonna to get this room cleaned up and then we're going to get to decorating. So I'm about to start decorating, but I just wanted to do a really quick overview. I'm not going to say where I got everything, but just I'll point out the new things, like things that you haven't seen yet um, in previous videos. But if there's anything that I didn't mention in a previous video that you really want to know where it's from, just let me know and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. That is new and it is from Hobby Lobby. I did get it half off. Um, I had that last year and the blanket is all, those are both from Bell's. Um, this is a frame from TJ Maxx and I just have an Etsy print in that and then those are the little Target trees, um, Target stockings, some of these things. So the Target trees, those bells and like my Norfolk pine items, I do believe I've already used in previous decorating videos, but I wanted to use those in the bedroom as well for the decorating video. And then I'll probably put them back in the main area because that's where I want to leave them. But um if you know this norfolk pine even at kirkland's even the dupes they are not the cheapest thing in the world so i only bought a certain amount of each one and i'm going to invest in some more next year so for this year i'm just gonna use them in the bedroom and then i'll put them back in the main area but um in the nutcracker he's from the hutch but i just thought i might want to use him in here he's really cute i found the pottery barn dupe deers at Aldi so excited y'all I was so excited about these oh my gosh I cannot believe I found them because I didn't even go I did go the first day that they came out but I went like super late in the day so I'm really glad I was able to score those and then I have this deer right here and that one the candle holders those were thrifted at Goodwill and then these were Hobby Lobby the candle was TJ Maxx these little houses are new and they're from Hobby Lobby they're actually from like the regular vase aisle um and then i have my walmart deer so i haven't used that yet and then these little picks are from target from the dollar spot i thought those would be really cute on the tree and then i do have some i don't know if i'll decorate the bathroom um in the video but i wanted to show like a couple of things i got for the bathroom i did get these beautiful like neutral Christmas I thought these would work all through winter I thought they were really cute and then I got crushed candy cane and iced cinnamon rolls so that's the one Lewis picked out and I love peppermint scent for Christmas it's like my favorite and he picked out the iced cinnamon rolls which I think it's so cute because it has like a little gingerbread house on it so cute so I don't know if I'll decorate the bathroom in today's video because that's all I really have for the bathroom I'm not going to do anything crazy in there but um and then we do have a new tree so this is from Hobby Lobby it is you'll see later on in the video or probably already seen in the intro it is the letter E so if you are looking for this tree it is letter E um and then I have a lot of ornaments so I have like these deer I have some pics from last year I have the velvet the viral velvet ornaments and 
some glass ornaments. I think all these ornaments are from Hobby Lobby, but those are from TJ Maxx. So yeah, let's get to decorating. So really quick, before we start decorating, I wanted to introduce you guys to one of my really sweet friends here on YouTube. Her name is Sarah, and she does lots of decorating videos and shopping videos, just like I do. And we actually became friends, I think, a little over a year ago. I believe it was like around fall of last year. And we have literally talked on Instagram every single day since then. She is so sweet, down to earth. I love to talk to Sarah. We always send each other pictures of our decor, like whenever we're excited about it, we'll send pictures back and forth and get opinions from each other and yeah she is super sweet and she is decorating in her mom's bedroom today so whenever you are done with my video make sure you head on over to Sarah's video and watch her video and let her know that I sent you in the comments and if you are here from Sarah's channel then I'm so glad you joined me for today's decorating video and I really hope you guys enjoy
Okay, we're done with the floating shelves and the dresser. So all we have to do in this area is set up the tree, but I just wanted to show really quick how the decor turned out. I think it is so beautiful. I love this nutcracker. I love this Norfolk pine garland. I only have two of them layered here, but I still love it. I feel like it would be better if I had more, but again, it still looks really beautiful and I really love it. I love these Target stockings and all I did was just hang some Hobby Lobby bells, so simple. And then I have my Pottery Barn deer, Pottery Barn dupe deer from Aldi. I love those. I think they're so pretty. And then we have the floating shelves. I love these so much. Um, I feel like this bottom shelf is a little bit more like maybe too crowded. I don't know, but I still really like it. It, it reminds me of like a little village, um, but I think it'll be really cozy at night with the lights on it. And then I do have a candle to go on that. So I have to go dig that out. It's green, <laughs> but I think it turned out really good. People that pass me by, I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time. I hear the jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing, it's the time. It's the time of year, winter wonderland <laughs> My winter wonderland It's the time of year, my winter wonderland My winter wonderland I want to sing about the Christmas on its way A reason to hang around and celebrate this day Everyone's smiling and it's snowing It's the time of year again I got the tree set up and fluffed and it is gorgeous but I will tell you that okay so this tree is 200 200 at Hobby Lobby and the viral Home Depot one I was thinking about ordering I didn't even know it was viral at the time to be honest I just knew that was the one I wanted and I bought one for my living room and I debated I was like well the one at Hobby Lobby is $50 cheaper so maybe I should just get that one and now I like I feel like I'm spoiled because that took so much time to fluff this the Home Depot one you don't even have to fluff it it just like you just put it up like it connects and it automatically like turns on this one you have to find the plugs and plug it in I mean I'm not saying that this is not a great tree it really is it's just that the one from Home Depot is like you know only $50 more not to have to do all that work you know fluffing it and trying to find the little plug and everything I love that star up there isn't that so pretty I found that at TJ Maxx I felt like it went perfect in here I got the ornaments and picks laid out and I do have a bunch more ornaments I just laid out a few to get started I bought some of these ornaments as bowl filler but I didn't end up using them as bowl filler so I think I'm just gonna put them and also I shed I just thought about it because I, I shed my sweater because I got really hot <laughs> while I was doing this but I might just go ahead and throw them on the tree because um I wasn't using them for bowl filler and then I have these I had these last year and also those but these are new this year these gold they're sort of like they're gold but they kind of have a little bit of like black on them so I thought they would be pretty for the bedroom tree and kind of match the vibe so we are going to start decorating the tree now isn't it so pretty I think it's so pretty the whole vibe in here and I got like the, the art on the tv and ignore the water bottle I forgot to move it <laughs> but 
yeah, so we're going to decorate. And then I do have some dark brown velvet ornaments. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those. I might, but we'll see. Um, I think I'll need more ornaments than this, but I do have, I think, a few more boxes of this one and then like two boxes of the dark brown. So we'll see. And then I don't know if I'll use those, but I brought them in here just in case. So I know one thing for certain that I overbought ornaments and I actually am glad I put a few back because they had restocked and I put a bunch in my cart because I was like I wanted them and I was so excited to see them and I actually ended up putting like three boxes back and I have one two three four and a half boxes that I did not use so I definitely overbought but I didn't decorate the back of the tree I guess I could to kind of fill in some more space but also I'll probably tweak the ornaments um to make sure they're like correctly spaced apart uh because some of them look like they might be too close together or like two like there's three in a row right here and like none here none here but anyways i'll tweak them but i still need to put the picks on so i'm gonna do that and i may end up returning those or i may put them on the tree i don't know let's see let's see i really liked them in the store um and they go with the vibe in here with all the deers and stuff so let's see if maybe to probably put some ornament hooks on them let's see Ooh, I like how it twinkles okay maybe I will put a few on there look how it twinkles that's so pretty I don't think it's like twinkling as pretty in the camera it's twinkling very pretty in person I think I'm gonna put a few of those let's see so one I'll probably put like one here two three got one there four, five, five or six-ish. That is really pretty, actually. I'm so glad that I tried it out because I was actually thinking about returning it, but no, that's actually really pretty because we got all the deers and stuff going on in here. <laughs>
do believe I am done decorating this tree and I love it. I feel like um, it's a little different than what I thought it was going to look like. I don't know what I was expecting, I guess, but um, whenever I first put the bell picks on, I was kind of like not liking it. But as I added the other like berry picks, it definitely helped fill it in and make it look a little bit more like custom, um, not so like plain with just ornaments. And I really do like these deer. I feel like they do add um, a lot to the tree, a lot of texture. And I really love the way it came out. You have to let me know what you think in the comment. In the comments, I'm still like obsessed with that star. I think it's so pretty and it matches the collar, which is also from, Ho well, that's, the star is TJ Maxx and the collar is Hobby Lobby, but they really do like match each other really well. And all the ornaments match and all the decor matches. And I love it so much and I'm so excited. Ah, oh, so pretty. <laughs> I love how sparkly these are and like you catch it in the right light and you can see it sparkle, it's so pretty. So I think that's gonna wrap up this decorating video, but everything turned out so beautiful. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys around a little bit. And I will be doing like a full house tour and I'll say where I got everything and all that good stuff very soon. I just kind of want to do like a little overview. Oh my goodness, I love this blanket so much. It's so pretty. And then the candle over there. I was, I was going to light the candle, but I couldn't find my lighter, so it's fine. I don't have to light it in every video, <laughs> but the tree turned out so beautiful. I just love this whole vibe over here. It just feel, I wanted to go for like a cozy, neutral cabin kind of vibe, which I think these little houses back there kind of give that vibe too. I love that. Love those deer. The stockings are so cute. I know this isn't really functional, you know, with the clothes and stuff being there, but it's cute for now. Um, I always like to decorate my dresser sort of like if I would, you know, if it was a mantle, I feel like that's a good way to decorate it. Um, but I really love how everything turned out and I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and don't forget to check out Sarah's video whenever you're done watching here. But thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I almost forgot that I wanted to show what it looked like at night. Like, oh, not at night, it is night, but what it looked like in the dark. Um, oh, it's so cozy. I love it. Isn't that so pretty? Everything just turned out so good. But so like, whenever we're laying in bed, this will be our view. Oh, so cozy. I love it. I love that star on top. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. I don't feel like getting a chair to climb up there to fix it right now, but I love my Aldi deer. I just think they look so good. I love them so much. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to just watch Christmas movies and chill out in here. Everything just turned out so good. Exactly what I was envisioning. <laughs>
y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Tori today's video is going to be a very budget friendly bedroom makeover but also Christmas decorating in our daughter's bedroom so this footage that you're currently watching is actually back from March we started this bedroom makeover in March and we actually did finish it we just didn't finish the video and then the girls bedroom um, their bed actually got broken a couple months into having it so we ended up getting them some new beds and a new dresser so we finished we finished this video we figured why not just go ahead and tack on Christmas decorating since I still had the footage and get this video live and I also included some shopping in today's video it is a little bit of a long one so I really hope you guys enjoy and I'm also collaborating with Katie and I'm so excited so I'll talk about her later but yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching if I had an option to be someone else, I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious, but I'm made this way But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by, someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this wallpaper done um hopefully you can't tell but i'm just gonna let y'all know <laughs> that we did have to piece this last like from here down had to piece it together because i did not want to order um it's like 50 dollars for a roll and a roll got like three rows so i didn't want to order a whole 50 dollars roll just for that part because the girls like i've said before they're not gonna care like they're not even gonna notice most likely i still have to put the little outlet plug things back on um, but we cleaned the carpet, we got the rug laid down. I was worried because it was supposed to be blush and gray. It does not look blush, but honestly, I feel like it matches with the wall because of the brown flowers. I feel like it looks really good. So Lewis is gonna set up the bed. We have the curtains. We have a white rod that we're gonna put up and hang the curtains, which the curtains match really good with the rug. I don't know if you can tell, but they match really good. So everything up until this point was actually from March, and this is picking up in November. So I really quickly just gave the carpets a good vacuum, and I used the carpet cleaner on them really quick. So I went ahead and just threw that in here because I was going to be doing it anyways, and it's literally like... I don't know, maybe 30 seconds of footage, but I wanted to get the carpets cleaned before we started. And I'm really glad I did because there was some really nasty spots on them. I guess something had spilled, maybe some slime or something. I have no idea, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got the carpets clean and I got the rug laid back out and Violet's here being nosy. Lewis is about to set, I'm hoping this isn't a problem. That's where the TV hooks up, hook, the TV hookups are. So I'm hoping that's not a problem, but Lewis is about to bring the dresser in here we're gonna put it there and then the beds will be like here and here hopefully that won't be too much of a problem so I would just hang the TV up there but it's not it's not gonna work there because I already measured and that's too big so there's really nowhere else to put it plus the TV hookups are over on the other wall I've played my part for nothing and I did it all for you I had mentioned earlier that today's video was going to be in collaboration with Katie and we've collaborated before but I'm super excited to be collaborating on a Christmas video. She is going to be decorating in her boys loft today for Christmas and I'm so excited to watch her video. I know you guys are going to love her. I will have her links in my description so whenever you guys get done here make sure you head on over to Katie's channel and let her know that I sent you in the comments and if you're here from Katie's channel thank you so much for popping on over and I really hope you enjoy today's video. 
So it's actually the next morning and this I'm just giving an update. We're not completely done yet. Well, Lewis is done setting up the beds and obviously the girls slept in here last night. It, just, it was just getting super late. We we're trying to get it done. So um, he went ahead. This took forever. I got this dresser on Amazon and I'll see if they still have it. If not, I'll link it from somewhere else. And the same with the beds because that I think the beds are out of stock. But these beds, y'all, are so beautiful. And they were, so they come with a canopy that like comes up. Um, but I actually just did the balls or whatever these are. Um, like the posters on them because the ceiling fan and also um, hopefully this doesn't bug anybody too much but the reason I left the ball off here is because I had to put it like in front of the TV and I was afraid that this kid would like I don't know knock her TV down if she kept bumping into it and um, anyways but they slept in here last night and they love their new beds and I was just playing around with a little bit of decor I, I told Lewis I was like it's the perfect little spring room because we have like all this cute like floral and butterfly decor and stuff but I just started put, I'm gonna decorate for Christmas but I just started putting out a few like everyday decor pieces and then I left the or I told Lewis to leave the hardware off because I am gonna run to Hobby Lobby today they have little brass bees um little brass bee hardware the girls are obsessed with bees that's like their thing they've always loved bumblebees so I'm gonna get little bees to go on here and their little brass bees so they'll match really well so I told him to leave the hardware off but this thing took forever to set up it was so late whenever we were getting done the girls actually fell asleep in our bed and then we had to like wake them up to move in here but I just wanted to give this update and I'm sorry that I didn't like show a lot of him like putting this furniture together I just thought that would be kind of boring anyway so I was like let me just not film that and then just skip to the good part like whenever it's all put together but so I'm gonna run to town and get those brass bees and maybe you know if I find a couple other little Christmas decor things but we're gonna decorate for Christmas and yeah so the tree we still have to hang the curtains so maybe we'll get that done today but the tree is gonna go here we got plenty of space for it so hopefully the closet door will still be able to swing open I wanted to hang their names above their bed but their names are or Kinsley's name is too long so I'm also in search of like a mirror or something to go here so we'll see what we can find today. But I don't really think it looks that bad without the... I mean, maybe if it bothers you, like if you're OCD about it. But functionality-wise, like also I didn't want the little ball to block the TV. And I didn't want her to... Because it goes in front of the TV. If that makes sense, like the bed has to scoot out a little bit for the little ball to go up. And then I'm scared that kid is going to bump into it and like knock it down. So this is just the best way to do it. And like I said, if, if you missed that in the beginning, this is where the TV hookups are. There's like big, ugly, like outlet plugs and holes in the wall behind here. So the TV stay in there. And also like here, the, um, the wall, the TV is too big to fit on this part of the wall. So yeah. <laughs> so, so this is what we got so far. So it's just checking in giving a little update. So hopefully the next thing you'll see is me putting the knobs on or maybe us doing the curtains, but we shall see, <laughs> but we're going to get to Christmas decorating later on as well. <laughs> So I actually decided to come to town really quick and I'm just going to vlog like a teeny tiny bit, but I'm going to get those bumblebee knobs. They're brass bumblebee knobs that I saw at Hobby Lobby, but I stopped for a sugar cookie latte because I've been craving one of these so bad, but I just wanted to give like super really quick life updates. I haven't been sharing a whole lot because of the rude comments and stuff lately, but for like my subscribers who like to hear my life updates, hopefully the rude commenters won't be here or they'll skip through this part. But, um, so school is going really well. Um, I'm almost done with my first semester. I just have like, I don't know, two, not even, I think like two weeks left. Uh, maybe not even two weeks left. And I have almost an A in patho and I have an A in evidence-based practice. And Lewis's school is going really well. I think he has A's or B's or something. I don't know. I know he's passing. <laughs> um, his is going really well. He's almost done as well. And then the girls are doing really good. And about my weight loss, I actually haven't been losing any more weight because I haven't been trying, but I also haven't gained any. So that's good. Um, little update there. Just too much going on with YouTube and Christmas and school and work and everything. Like just too much going on. Um, about the debt payoff, just a little update there. I did pay off my credit card and then um, I get paid from YouTube in I think next week. 
like. And then whenever I get paid from YouTube, I'm paying off my husband's credit card. And the next month when I get paid from YouTube, I'm going to pay off both of our vehicles. And by the end of the year, we will be completely debt free. So just a little update there. And I'm going to head in. I'm actually at TJ Maxx. I'm looking for a, um, like a gold mirror to go on the girl's dresser. I mentioned that earlier in the video probably. And so I'm gonna go in there and look for that and see maybe if they have some more pink Christmas stuff. But then I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and I'll probably pop into Target because I did see some little like table lamps that, because the girls wanted lamps for their, their quotations nightstands, but it's really just like one dresser in between. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to pop on here and give a couple of little life updates. Um, hopefully the rude uh people are not here today but <laughs> hopefully they're not if they are i'll just delete their comments but yeah so <laughs> let's head into tj maxx oh first i'm gonna try this because well i already tried it but i'll let you guys know oh these are so good it really just tastes like it tastes like a vanilla latte but um they add like the sugar cookie sprinkles in it and i think that's what makes it kind of taste like christmasy but it's so good i love i love it i usually get a snowman cookie too but they were sold out um which is a bummer but because it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning but yeah i'm gonna head in here real quick and see what we can find i have these snow globes 14 i love these little trees they had a bunch of them the other day they only got two left but they're 20 bucks and we found the girls a pink cookie jar here there was two of them and now the other one's gone <laughs> but i figured those would sell quick they were so cute um I love everything. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I ran into one of my sweet subscribers that I met in Target actually in Hobby Lobby the other day and she told me that we are getting home goods here. And I'm so excited. So I will have all kinds of home goods shop with me. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. It's gonna be next to Raw, so that's gonna be perfect. Oh my gosh, yes. $7.99. I'm getting this for Kinsley. I already got Grayson, I'll show you at Hobby Lobby. Well you'll see later anyways, but I got her some ballerina ones, but yeah, I'm getting that for Kinsley. Love it. I think this is pretty. How much are these? 14. I wish they had gold glitter on them though. But these are really pretty for a girl's room. I actually found these pink ones. Well, they're kind of like a muted pink. I don't know if I'm going to get these, but I really love these because I'm going to get them like a bookshelf at Target. I already found it. And I think this would be so pretty to like decorate um, one of those shelves for Christmas. And then I'll just have them year after year. But I just noticed these. Are, they, are these mirrors like wall mirrors? I don't know. They don't have like the wall. They must be like trays. I was thinking these were perfect, but <laughs> I think they're like a tray, like to set on like a vanity or something. They don't have like the hook, the hooks to hang. I'm actually glad they don't have a cat version of this because if they did, I would a thousand percent be buying it and I do not need it. But if they had a cat version, I would definitely get it. The girls a thousand percent need these and I'll tell you why really quick. So first of all, they're only $7.99. They're like weighted plush owls, like winter plush owls. Their whole nursery was owls. Like they have so many little owl keepsakes and these are just the cutest thing ever i want to get these to put on their bed and i bet they'll love them because they have so many little owl plushies when they were little and maybe it'll be like nostalgic to them how sweet <laughs> i think i'm gonna put these trees back because they're really beautiful but they're kind of like neutral pink you know what i mean like nudes and pinks and the girls would like prefer the colorful ones i don't know i may just wait and like go check out hobby lobby and see if they have any pink more pink christmas stuff but i definitely want to get the owls because that is i can't believe those are only 7.99 and they're just perfect and then the maribel uh kinsley's gonna be so excited about that that's her favorite right now i just found this little guy hiding back here how cute is that is that cute oh my gosh that's so cute that goes with their room so good let's see how much is it 7.99 isn't that so cute i love that i went straight for the b knobs here at hobby lobby because i didn't want to forget so they're 4.99 Look how stinking cute these are. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I need six. So I'm gonna grab six of these. So at $4.99, that makes them $2.50 times six. So not bad. So I'm gonna grab these really quick. They had exactly six. I'm so glad because I would have been so disappointed because I waited. I mean, I guess that I don't know if they sell like the display one, probably not. But they also have the white ones. But I just think these are prettier. Like they'll go better with their room. Um, the girls are gonna love those. They love bees. I also thought about getting two of these or maybe one. They're actually bigger than I thought they were gonna be. So maybe just one they're half off i just thought this would be really cute and it'd be really easy to hang simple and then i could put like a few more decorations on it 
I think I might grab one because it matches. I bought them actually. I bought them these beads um, for their room. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I bought it for my Valentine's Day decor and spring decor. And then I was like, oh, I can use it in their room too. So, and it matches that. So I may grab this as well, but we'll see. I'm gonna put it in my cart for now. I just found these shelves. Um, and I think I'm gonna get these because these are $15.99 and then they're half off. So it's $15.99 for two of them. And that one is $15 by itself. So like, and I like the gold and I really wanted two shelves. So I think I'm gonna get these instead because it's the same price. I can get two of them for the same price of one. Okay, I put the other one back and I got two of these. These look super easy to hang. Probably just use like some finishing nails and they're like really lightweight and like cheap, but obviously like it's $15.99 for both of them. So uh, I probably won't put anything that I like care about getting broken on it, obviously, but um, I like these. I think I'm gonna get these, but we're gonna keep looking around and see what we can find. So this mirror right here is like the perfect size, but it's $60. I almost wanna wait, see what I can find at Ross, cause I guarantee you they have the same one for like 20 bucks or 30 bucks, <laughs> or maybe not, but we're gonna go there next. So maybe I'll wait. And then if I don't find one today, maybe it'll be in a future update video, but um so far i'm gonna go look at pink christmas stuff but i got those shelves i really love those i'm excited about those and then of course the bees i'm excited about the bees <laughs> okay i made it over to the pink christmas stuff but i did go over to this aisle but there was a lot of people over there and i found a couple of cute little things that i may or may not get but there was only one of these and my daughter grayson is obsessed with ballet and ballerinas she even has her own ballet shoes now <laughs> um so I'm gonna get that for her. And there was only one left, so. And then I found this cute little Merry Christmas sign. It was only $5.49 and it's 50% off. So I did already get them a set of these fluffy ornaments because Grayson loves her fluffy bracelets. And I got the velvet ones. I did not get one of these. They're super cute though. <laughs> I may get like a small one because look how cute all this stuff is for their little shelves. And it's like so affordable. Like it's gonna make them so happy. <laughs> They restocked these since me and Lewis were here because the last time we were here, they didn't have these or they had these, but they didn't have, I've had these in the past and as beautiful as they are, they're a pain to work with. They get tangled up super easy. So I'm wondering if maybe I should get this one this time, but they don't have very much like this would be so cute on their headboard. Oh my goodness. This would be so cute. So it'd be $14.99 for two of them because they're half off or they also have this one, but I like the other one better and they're the same price. And then this looks like it'd be too bulky. So I may just grab two of these. And if it don't work, I could always bring it back. Um, I was just thinking maybe this across their headboard, but they do have twin size beds. So we shall see. I just found these and I was actually looking for these. They're $6.99. I've only found two small ones. So I'm gonna look around, see if I can find any more, but I may just grab the two small ones. Um, but I think these are so pretty and they were kind of like tucked back there hiding, but I found two of them. All right, I'm at Ross. And this is 20 bucks so yeah <laughs> i think this might be perfect it's small i like it 20 bucks so affordable all right y'all i'm at target and i'm trying to remain calm but they did restock these for my store i saw them and there was only one left and it was broken <laughs> and i was so disappointed because i really wanted one for the girls room they're so cute and they also restocked the little houses so i may get a couple of those because how cute so these little lamps are actually one of the reason i came in here the girls said they wanted lamps for their nightstands i'm wondering if i should just get these or just wait and find a cuter one but these are really like the perfect size um i was gonna get one for like each side of their dresser um and they're only 12 dollars. they are marked like nine dollars online but um i don't know how it works with like i think it's when you purchase it online only so I think I'm just gonna get these maybe. I'm gonna put them in my cart at least. And then also was looking for, there it is, the bookshelf. This is the little cheap bookshelf I wanted to get them. I just wanted something like little and cheap to put like their books on and a little bit of decorations, just make it more fun for them. They can put their little block calendar on it and stuff. All right, we're home now. And I think this mirror is so perfect. I was a little nervous it was gonna be too small, but that was literally $19.99. <laughs> And I think it's the perfect size because I have one from Kirkland's, but it's literally like four foot or something like, I mean, I don't know if it's four foot. I think it is. I think it's 48 inches. So it would have been way, way too big for in here. It would have looked weird. Um, and then I have the B knobs, which I'll put one on so y'all can see. 
how cute oh my goodness it's gonna be so cute and it matches so well everything just matches got a little nosy kitty here um i'm so excited okay i'm gonna put these on and show you or maybe i don't know if i'll film that or not but i'm gonna put one on at least because i'm super excited oh my goodness look how cute that is they're gonna be so excited they're gonna see the little bees and they're gonna be like oh my gosh they're gonna love it oh i love it <laughs> It looks so good. It's starting to look so good and it's like got a vintage vibe going on in here Which is exactly what I love and what I was going for in here and I did pick them up some new pillows um, Because they needed some of these like standard size good pillows just some new ones and I got their lamps So I'm gonna set those up really quick and see what it looks like Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to Oh my goodness, y'all. I can't even with these little bee knobs. This is so beautiful and it looks so much better than it did. Like just a cheap, it really is just a cheap like $200 dresser for Amazon and it just made it look so much better. How stinking cute. I just can't believe how cute these are. And I saw them and I got so excited. And then I left the tags on the lamps because the girls will be home from school soon. I'm going to make sure they like those before I take the tags off of them. And of course, I'll make sure they work and everything. And then oh, we got a little friend here. <laughs> she makes the bed look so tiny. It's just because she's so fat. <laughs> hi. Oh, you want belly scratches? Oh, hi. You want kisses? Oh, you're giving me kisses? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. You're so sweet. Are you just... Ow, don't bite me. <laughs> she gets playful. Are you just giving me company? They always follow me everywhere I go. Like, I always have three shadows behind me. <laughs> Ginger doesn't, but the other three definitely do. I got some comments saying that they didn't know I had four cats. I do have four, but Ginger always hides. She is not a people person or a cat person or, well, she's not a person at all, but she's not, like, friendly. <laughs> she likes me, but that's it. But she don't come out very often, so um, she's mostly my cat. And then these three love everybody. These three love everybody. Don't you? You're so sweet and friendly. I love it. Oh, my goodness. I'm giving some DIYers a panic attack using push pins to do this or thumbtacks, whatever you call them. <laughs> but I'll be honest with y'all, I've been doing this for years and it's never been a problem for me. So, I mean, if it becomes a problem, I'll stop doing it. But these shelves literally weigh like less than a pound, probably. <laughs> they weigh like nothing and it was just so easy. And then I feel like I'm in like a stud or something because it was really hard to push it in there. But like I said, I've been doing this for years, so I'll probably get comments like about how I shouldn't do that or whatever. But I'm not going to put anything like valuable or <laughs> any family heirlooms or anything up here anyway. So um, it's just there's going to be a Christmas tree here. So if anything falls, the Christmas tree will probably catch it anyways. Um, but like I said, nothing's really fell over the years that I've been doing this <laughs> I still gotta hang their curtains now Lewis does drill those into the wall I do not put those up with push pins so don't come at me <laughs> but I'm gonna like just to test it out I'm not gonna decorate it like this but I'm gonna throw some Christmas decor up here just to like kind of see that's why I left the tags on make sure I like them before I take the tags off okay I don't know if I'm gonna decorate it like this but it is really cute but I still have all their like well it's like one bin full of like pink Christmas stuff that I've just been collecting over the years and the few things that I bought um, that I haven't showed yet. And then these are the few things from today, but how cute. And these shells really do feel sturdy. Like they feel good. Like, I mean, they feel good. <laughs> um, I feel like they'll stay. And like I said, I've been doing the push pin thing for, or what are, you, what are these called? Are they called thumbtacks? Push pins? Whatever, I've been using these to hang stuff. Like, obviously, I don't use them to hang, like, a mirror or anything super heavy. But if something weighs literally, like, less than a pound, like these shelves, and then, like, the decor on it is going to be super lightweight, then I just, I don't know, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> That's my motto. But I'm so glad I bought this. It's so cute. Love that. And then that was, like, $2 and some change. So I thought that was really cute. Merry Christmas. 
love that. I don't know. I might just decorate it like this, <laughs> but I have to, like I said, get into their bin and see what they have from years past, but this is really cute. And then their tree, I'm going to get Lewis to hang those curtains, hopefully before this video is over with. And he works nights, so he's asleep right now, but, um, the tree's going to go like right here. So it's going to be perfect with the little decorations up there. Just a little side note. I know this video is probably getting really chatty, but why? If you work at TJ Maxx or Ross, why do they do this? There's a sticker right here. Why does it have to be right here too? This irritates me so bad. <laughs> and there's leaving residue. And I know like, um, all, uh, essential olive oil, <laughs> I almost said olive oil, essential oils, like lemon essential oil gets it off and goo gone, but I don't have that stuff on hand. I need to get some, but y'all that irritates me so bad. Like, I don't know why they do that. And it's leaving a sticky residue. I'm going to have to clean it off. It's just so much work whenever it literally says it right here. Like why? I guess just in case it gets separated, but I don't know. It's just so irritating. <laughs> All right, the girls love their lamps. They came home and I plugged them in because they were like super excited to turn them on and they got them both turned on. And then Kinsley, oh my gosh, she's so excited about her little ornament. She's so excited. And then I didn't even think about it that um, they were asleep whenever I started putting this stuff out last night. And I didn't even think about it that Mirabelle has little butterflies and Kinsley took those beads out of there. And she's like, what's that? It's Mirabelle butterfly. So I may actually have to like leave this out for her on her side because she loves Mirabelle. That is her favorite. And then Grayson already started decorating her little side, which I think is so sweet. I showed her this little ballerina and she took it and set it up here and she took her little, they love their calendar. She put her little calendar up here. So I had to like, you know, configure it better a little bit, but I really like this. This is so cute. It's just that little tiny Christmas touch. I actually probably, she's probably going to want to leave that there year round, but it's super cute and it's neutral. So it's totally fine. It'll match with anything. I know it's got like the little kind of uh, pine greenery on it. That's okay. If she loves it, that's totally fine. Um, but I don't know. I kind of like how this is looking already. I was thinking about taking some of the like springy type decor down and putting like some Christmas, but we'll see because we got that whole other bookshelf and those shelves to decorate. So we will see. <laughs> sticky residue off the mirror which took forever but I got it off um and then I was gonna try to hang it I was gonna use a finishing nail because it's super lightweight like it it weighs like nothing and so it's very cheaply made but it's still a really beautiful mirror especially for $20 but it's like super super lightweight and the back of it actually you probably can't tell but the back of it where did it go down there at the bottom like kind of ripped off at the bottom like I'm like dang anyways but it's like super lightweight like it's probably made of particle board I don't know it's really pretty but I couldn't find a single finishing nail so I'm gonna wait until my husband can I don't know hang it he has like a stud finder and he knows how to do all this which I know this is like the piece that you if you don't have a stud so I was thinking about and then you get a screw I don't know I better not pull out his power tools without him but yes yeah, so I was gonna try to hang it so now I think I'm gonna just clear off this bed and make this bed while I'm waiting for him to wake up still <laughs> so hard to breathe cause when you get too close i lose my way and i freeze i wish you knew what power you have over me but now it's so hard to breathe mm -hmm. just get me out of here
my bookshelf that I built all by myself. I literally am spoiled and my husband always does stuff like this, but he's like over it after building the bed and the dresser. <laughs> and also like he's just tired because he works nights. So I get it, but he is so proud of me for doing this by myself. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just wanted something cute, you know, to put like their decorations on and put their books on and just something, you know, cute and little like this. And it was so cheap. It was $28 at Target and... I just wanted something that's perfect. Just perfect size, perfect. It's gonna serve its purpose. I love it. I'm so excited to decorate it. <laughs> I just wanna get out. So here is a mini haul of all of their new Christmas stuff for this year. I'm gonna pull out their Christmas bin uh, with their stuff from the past couple years, but first I wanted to just show really quick what is new this year. So all of this like on this side is like from today, except for the Bath and Body Works. Um, Grayson picked out strawberry snowflakes this year and Kinsley picked out twist, uh, twisted peppermint, which I think she only picked this one out because of the packaging, <laughs> but that's okay. It's super cute. And then Grayson just loves like strawberry scent. Right now they have the strawberry shortcake, I think it is. Um, they have that one in there right now, but so everything else on this side is like from today, from our little shopping trip, and then all of this, me and Lewis picked out together the other day when we went out, and so these little trees are just some simple little Target dollar spot finds. This one was like three dollars, a dollar, three dollars, a dollar, so just some cute little things to add. I don't know if you can tell, it's pink. It's kind of like a like an orangey kind of blush pink. Um, just a couple of cute little things to add to their little pink Christmas collection, which I really love. <laughs> and then these ornaments are from Hobby Lobby. I really, they have so many ornaments, but I really wanted to add some of these velvet ones to their collection. So I did get the large ones and the smaller size and then the fluffy ones, which are going to be so cute, like with those on their headboards and then those on the tree. Grayson loves her little fluffy bracelets so I thought she would like those I did show them to her and she loves them so um so she's excited about those and I don't know if I said but these are also from Hobby Lobby Grayson is in her ballerina era she loves ballerinas right now that is her thing so I picked these up at Hobby Lobby I think she already took the tags off of them she's been playing with them like actually making them like dance and stuff which is so cute I need to get her like a Barbie and then Lewis found this gorgeous pink cookie jar at TJ Maxx and it was $12.99, which is such a good deal. And I'm going to put this, I think, in their room and just put candy in it. Um, they're not allowed to have food in their room, but, you know, I can make an exception for some Hershey Kisses during Christmas time. So I think, I don't know where yet, maybe on their new little bookshelf, but this is super cute. And I was so excited whenever he showed me this. <laughs> but I also have mentioned this before on Instagram. This is my favorite candle candy cane lane i had a red one that i bought two years ago it reminds me of when we first our first christmas in this house and it, this is the same exact candle but it is pink and I, I saw it at the beginning of the season and didn't buy it and like they still had one left and i saw it whenever we were out shopping for like the pink things and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it and i'm gonna use it to decorate in the girls room and then of course like i can move it out to the living room and use it out there whenever i'm out there it smells amazing and this was also $12.99 and I think that is it for all the new stuff but isn't everything so cute so if you watched the shopping portion then you saw all this but this is just a mix of TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Target and then I found this little my daughter Kinsley loves Mirabelle so I found this today which I'm so glad because the other day I looked for a Mirabelle one at Hobby Lobby and they didn't have one. So I ended up getting two ballerinas because I was like, well, I don't want Kinsley to feel left out. So I got two ballerinas, even though she, she like, I mean, I'm sure she likes the ballerina, but it's like, you know, not her favorite thing. Her favorite thing is Encanto <laughs> and it has been for a little while now consistently. And then this, you know, was another Hobby Lobby find. Hobby Lobby. I love this. This is so pretty. I've seen a couple other YouTubers decorate with this and I thought it would be so cute for their room. And then these were some Target dollar spot. Let me tell y'all about this. <laughs> if I didn't mention it in the shopping portion, I have wanted this guy since the beginning of the season. I saw him. They had one left in this size, and he was chipped right here on his hat. was, like, chipped pretty bad. And I didn't get him because of that. And I don't know if they, like, sold him or clearanced him or what they did, but he was gone, even him, the broken one. But then today while we were there, I saw these. And I also saw these little houses, and I couldn't resist because... These are so cute, and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so now I guess let's get to decorating. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here. Okay, we got.
got some Christmas vibes going with the candle. Normally I wait till like I've decorated so it's all pretty around it, but I wanted to get my favorite candle going. And I brought out their bin. This pillow I got a couple years ago on clearance from Big Lots and I have another one somewhere. I have to find it. Um, So I have to dig that out. But real quick, I just went ahead and brought this one in. It's so pretty. Uh, they're fighting in the background. <laughs> Don't mind them, but these are so pretty. Anyway, so let's see. There ain't no telling what's in this bin. Lots and lots of goodies. Um, <clears throat> I knew I had some bottle brush trees in here. I'm not going to pull probably everything out. Just kind of like glimpse through it. I did go through this stuff um, earlier this year. Kind of like purged. And I went through and like cleaned out like the broken things. And we have lots and lots of ornaments. And some bows and picks. And then I think there is decor down in these boxes if I'm not mistaken I think maybe not <laughs> I think there is oh my gosh they're just boxes on boxes <laughs> okay see there's decor I knew there was decor so we have a few things not a whole lot a lot got broken I feel like whenever we moved a lot of things got broken but there's more ornaments in here so we'll see if we can like mix I really love these like these with those velvet ones gonna be so pretty i love it i'm so excited so let's get to decorating for real this time <laughs> i just looked all over for the other pillow like this and i can't find it anywhere so i really hope it turns up because i'm gonna be so sad i have looked everywhere that it could be that i know of and then i asked lewis he said he don't know hopefully i can find it if not i'm gonna be really sad because they're gonna look so good up there and i'm gonna be sad so <laughs> okay celebrate one day we have our some candy in there candy <laughs> it's kind of hard to open stuck. it's stuck need help need help you open need help oh there you go perfect perfect candy wow we're gonna set up your tree we're gonna wait make sure you put it in the trash okay okay put a trash put, put, oh, a, put trash. a trash oh thank you thank you do you love it do you love it? Look at your room. Is that your bed? <gasps> Did you see your new little owl plushie? Do you like your plushie? Where are you going, baby tower? Okay. <laughs> Got the rest of your plushie. <laughs> Got the rest of your plushies. How many plushies you got for? How many? Six. Six? Do you love Do you love your new room? Do you love it? What do you think about your new room? Look! <laughs> do you want to set up your Christmas tree? Yeah. Yeah? Do you love your new room? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Did you see your bee knobs? 
Did you see the bees? Where's the bees? Can fly. Did you see the fly. Did you see the bees? Yeah. <gasps> Look at the bees! Oh my goodness, they're bees! It's the bees! You like it? Drawer. We gotta we gotta put your clothes in there. Yeah, drawer. I love it. <coughs> you being nosy? You being a nosy kitty? Wow, being a nosy oh. kitty. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to office. <laughs> yeah? It's not office anymore. It's Grace and Kinsley room. Nope. Yep. It used to be office. <laughs> Kinsley, what do you think about your new room? Do you love it? Yeah. You love it? It's so beautiful. So I just found these little pink houses and their stuff. I don't know how I missed these, but I just found them. They were like in one of those boxes. And then I told my husband, I was like, just stick them somewhere. And he put them, he's like, here, put them with your little village. <laughs> and they look so cute here, don't they? Anyways, it's a little overloaded up here, but it's super cute and the girls love it. So that's why I love it too. I think it's so cute. He's like, you can move them if you want. And I was like, I think they're cute there. All right, Grayson's finishing up, and so she's going to put her jammies on when she gets out. I went ahead and hooked these ornaments because some of these are their new ones, but these big ones are from last year and these little ones last year. And then Kinsley said she wanted some snowflakes on the tree, so I hooked the snowflakes too. So I got those done, and then Lewis is bringing the tree in here so we can set it up right here in front of the window, and we're going to get it decorated. Yeah. You want to open? Yes. Put her on the tree. Thank you. You're welcome. Love it. And now some personal touches. A little plushies from B Movie. <laughs> her Mar two Maribel plushies. <laughs> Do you love your room? Yeah. You love it so much. Do you love your ballerinas? She put her shoes in here. She put her little shoes. <laughs> Got your plushies. Did you see your ballerinas? We're going to put these on the tree, right? Put your ballerinas on the tree. I love them. Um, I love Barry and Adam. She loves B-Movie. Still. So cute, yes. I love it. <laughs> Are you so happy? You love it? Ready to decorate your room? Uh-oh. Huh? Decorate your room. Decorate your room. Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how happy she is. Look, three! Who's this, girls? Oh, oh, oh. This Christmas. Sticky. Get out of there. Come on, man. I got a job to do. <laughs> Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for ya I've been hanging marbles on the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be 
Wow, girls, you did such a good job. I love it. Wow. It's beautiful. Cool. It's so beautiful. So cool. Are you sleepy? It is late. You ready to go to sleep? Oh, yes. Oh, we got to get a cord to go to the star because this tree doesn't have it. Christmas. Say good night. Good night. Say good night. Good night. Are you gonna sleep with your tree on? <laughs> it's a big tree. That's the biggest tree I've ever had in your room. It's so beautiful. Y'all did such a good job decorating it. Such a good job. Look. I love it. Do you want to get under your blankets? Yeah. You want under? What? Under, under. You can get under your blankets. It'd be cozy. Under there you go. Cozy. Too, cold. <laughs> are they cold? Are you cold or are you cozy now? Oh. oh. You want under I your got it. You got it? Okay. Under. I love it. Where is the blanket? I'm cold. Are you cold? Are you cozy? I These are soft. No. These are soft. You want these oh, blankets? So silly. Oh. What are you being silly? Bobby, what are you fucking? It's cold. Are you cold? Oh. You're cold? Where's Flushy? I don't know. I don't know. Kinsley, put your blanket back on. Okay. Where are you? Stop. Over here. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. My turn. <laughs> Say good night, everybody. Good night. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love you. I love you. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Say good night. Good night. All righty. Good night, Mary. Good night, Adam. <laughs>if you're still with me, I know it's a long one. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this budget-friendly bedroom makeover, but also Christmas decorating. And also, do not forget to check out Katie's channel. I will have it linked in my description. And again, thank you guys so much for your support and your love. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. welcome to another christmas decorating video today is probably going to be the last part of my indoor decorating we still have to decorate the outside but i just had to add a few finishing touches on my decor and i did a new hot cocoa bar made it a little bit more fun and whimsical and we decorated the tree and we also had thanksgiving dinner so you'll see that a little bit later in today's video i'm also doing a collaboration with my best friend julianne here on youtube and i can't wait to tell you guys about her later and yeah let's get into this clean and decorate i really hope you guys enjoy
Lewis is actually making Thanksgiving dinner tonight. So we have a turkey in the oven. I'm so excited and he's gonna put the ham in there next. But I wanted to share really quick. I found these, well, I've had the pink one. I think I bought that in the spring, but I found these, I would pull them out. Let me see if maybe I can like, I found these Disney cookbooks at TJ Maxx and I was gonna like, y'all know we're trying to build a house. Like we're trying to build our dream house and like I'm a huge Disney person. So I'm not much of a cook, but my husband is and I would love to learn. <laughs> but um, this one has Disney enchanted recipes and look at like the, um, what's this called? I don't remember what it's called the stem i don't know the like edge of the book what is that called anyways but it has like disney and it's got like tinkerbell anyways it's so pretty and in our new kitchen i'm hoping i can face them the other way but i wanted to kind of show the front of them not the back of them and then i had this pink one entertaining with disney i bought that one in the spring to go with my spring decor and i think it looks really pretty up here too and then the last one is the unofficial disney drinks recipe book and i love that it's got a castle on it hopefully you can see but I don't know, I just love them here. And then I just wanna get a little collection of them grow, growing, uh, a little collection of them going. So whenever we find some more, we can add to our little Disney cookbook collection and try out some of those recipes. And I'm definitely excited about that. Especially because in our new house, we really wanna go for like, not in your face Disney, but like kind of Disney vibes whenever we're like, designing our kitchen and everything i'll kind of insert some pictures here if you're friends with me on instagram you've already seen these but i'm going to insert some pictures of ideas that i had that i kind of wanted like a cinderella castle vibe going in the kitchen but these are going to be perfect you guys know i love color i'm not like much of a neutral person so these are perfect for me because they've got this is like sort of like black and like a dark it's like almost like dark blue and then this one of course is pink and this one has like blue and then this one is like dark purple which is really beautiful <laughs> I had mentioned that today's video was going to be in collaboration with one of my very best friends. Her name is Julianne and we have collaborated a handful of times in the past, but this one is extra exciting because Julianne is decorating her brand new home that they just built for Christmas. And I am so excited to watch this video and I'm extra excited to be collaborating with her on today's video. So whenever you guys are done here with my video, make sure you head on over to Julianne's video. She is a mom of four sweet babies and she keeps her home decorated so beautifully for each holiday she does lots of cleaning content and I know you guys are gonna love her channel and whenever you're done here make sure you head on over to Julianne's channel I will have her linked in my description let her know that I sent you and if you are here from Julianne's channel then I really hope you enjoy this decorating video and thank you so much for popping on over so if you remember whenever I decorated for Christmas, I just had the clear mugs up there and I had that sign and basically this situation going on. And I just like wasn't loving it to be honest. And I saw these mugs at Target. And if you watch my Pottery Barn dupes video, they kind of do look like the ones from Pottery Barn. Obviously like not quite as nice as the one at Pottery Barn, but these were only $5 at Target. And I wanted to go, cause I've already kind of got gingerbread vibes going on in the kitchen. And I love, you know, we are a Disney family. We go to Disney World all the time we love Disney so I decided to add some I saw these this is kind of where I was thinking about trying to find some Disney vibes to go up here and then I saw these and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna do these <laughs> because I'm gonna get these and do kind of like a Disney vibe I saw this mug before and I wanted it and then it was still there so we're gonna get some Disney and gingerbread vibes going on and make it more of a fun whimsical hot cocoa bar the girls are super excited i'm super excited so i'm probably maybe going to keep that situation like the same i do need to refill the marshmallows but i found this tray at tj maxx and it was 12.99 and i actually saw this before and wanted it and i was like i don't need that because what am i going to use it for and then they still had it and i saw all this other stuff and i was like oh my gosh that tray i saw i wonder if they still have it because it would be so cute for my little disney gingerbread hot cocoa bar and i picked up these little sticks um marshmallow peppermint latte stirrers and these were $5.99 and the girls probably won't use those but I will definitely use those and Lewis probably will and then this I cannot wait to try this um Joffrey's if you're a Disney person you already know Joffrey's is like the best coffee ever and um it's like hot cocoa packets this was $9.99 at TJ Maxx and then I found this mug also at TJ Maxx 
$9.99 and I think I mentioned that these mugs were from Target and they were $5. They were just in the regular like Target section or the like kind of on an end cap like mug section. They were not in the dollar spot but I'm super excited to see how this turns out. It's going to be a little bit more whimsical but also um, I kind of put on Instagram like a little picture of all this stuff and I said it kind of reminds me of like the old Tory Christmas videos and it makes me super happy. So um, this is what we're going to do today. I'm so excited. I love this mug. I can't wait to like drink out of this mug one day. I'm actually thinking about for this uh, like Christmas styling. I think I'm going to put these in this mug just for this styling and then maybe in the future I'll use that as like an actual coffee mug to drink out of but yeah I'm super excited to see how this turns out. <laughs> So really quick, I just wanted to mention that today's video is actually part five of my 2023 Christmas Clean and Decorate series. So I will have my other parts linked in my description, but you can also head on over to my channel. And I already have so many Christmas decorating videos up for this season, as well as the past couple of years. And I know you guys are gonna love those. If you love today's video, you will definitely love those as well. So I'll have those linked, but you can also just head on over to my channel to check those out. I have already decorated our kitchen, our dining room, our living room, our entryway, our master bedroom, and our daughter's bedroom. We actually did a full makeover in our daughter's bedroom and it turned out so beautiful. They are so excited about it. I am so excited about it, but you guys are not going to want to miss those. I will have those linked. If you guys have not seen those already, then definitely check those out whenever you are done here. I also wanted to mention that I did do a giveaway in part one and part two of my Christmas decorations series and that giveaway has not closed yet so if you are interested in entering those giveaways I will have those linked so that will be the kitchen decorating and the living room decorating so definitely check those out if you want to get the details on those giveaways <laughs>
I wanted to do a really simple tablescape, so I found a few like really affordable things. This table runner was from Target. I believe it was like $15, but I also had like a 10% off and then my 5% off. And I ended up getting a $30 gift card for like doing one of their little reward things. And so that was really nice. Um, I found these napkins and the rings at Ross. And I found those at the same time I found these plates, but aren't these just so cute? They really give like hearth and hand vibes to me, maybe a little bit of farmhouse vibes, but I really love them. And I love how it comes with the rings as well. And then I found these really cute pottery bar dupe plates at Ross as well. And they were only $3.99 each, which was such a good deal. And then I got these placemats at Target as well. The same time I got the runner and I think they were $5 each, but again, I had like 10% off and the 5% off and then like I ended up earning that $30 gift card um so that was really really nice but I love these and I can't wait to see how it all looks put together and then my husband suggested putting some twinkle lights or some little fairy lights in this double so we're gonna try that out as well my tree from king of christmas because i love this tree and i've gotten lots of questions about it so this is the nine foot king noble fur and i did steal some of the red ornaments i do need to pick up some more but i'm kind of waiting until next year uh, to buy any more christmas decor i guess i could steal some of those red ornaments but they look really pretty there so i don't know but anyways i love this tree and it comes with a bag it comes with a glove so setting it up is super easy and taking it down will be even easier and then i have this little nifty remote that i so it has like different settings i like number three that's my favorite and then you can have like number one that's just like the steady and they have like this one they have all kinds of settings let's see there's one like strobe setting it's like wild that one <laughs> and then um this is number three number three is my favorite that is my favorite and then you can like turn them up turn them down put a timer on there's so much you can do and i love it it's such good quality i like the sparse look to it i've just gotten a lot of questions about it so i wanted to mention and this was gifted to me by king of christmas so thank you again king of christmas i really love this christmas tree and i'm so excited about it and the girls of course love it they love to mess with the remote turn it on and off and this is just so easy because i actually just have it hang on let me just switch hands um i actually just hide it right here it's so easy see you can't even see it and then i know where it's at it doesn't get lost <laughs> so that's my little hack if you have kind of a similar setup in your living room dining room whatever your entertainment center you can just hide your remote away and turn your tree on and off and it's super simple carolers are singing outside our door lovely songs we all heard before as they walk Like a dedicated video but we did make thanksgiving dinner so i wanted to show really quick um how it turned out it looks so good i cannot wait to eat i'm starving so we have mashed potatoes you know the canned uh, cranberries always the best cream corn deviled eggs uh, those are my favorite rolls i can't remember the name like mrs schubert's or sherbert's or something like that uh green bean casserole macaroni and cheese sweet potato casserole that we burned a little bit <laughs> but it'll probably still taste really good and i already tried this stuffing it is so good and then we got ham and a turkey and then over here we have like the desserts and then we got these cute lewis found these cute plates you said these were on clearance right yeah he found these on clearance at walmart and that's cool because it's not even thanksgiving yet and then we have pumpkin pie and these are just walmart pies um lemon meringue that's lewis's favorite and then pecan also one of lewis's favorites and then we got some ready whoop 
um, pumpkin pie is my favorite. So I am going to make my plate really quick and then we're gonna decorate the tree after we eat and then that'll probably be like the end of this video. But I wanted to show what we made for Thanksgiving because we made, this is what, our fourth year? So since the girls were six, we have made Thanksgiving dinner, just the four of us, every year since they were six. And the girls have been so excited all day. They've been like in here asking, when's it gonna be ready? <laughs> so they're like anxious, ready to eat. So I'm gonna make my plate real quick and then tell them that it's ready so they can come make their plates. And I'm very excited. And then we're gonna decorate the tree. So I am super excited. This you, one. you want which one? This one, this one, this one. <laughs> this one. You want some ham? Ham, turkey, mac and cheese, and bread. You want ham, turkey, mac and cheese, and bread? Yeah. You want mashed potatoes? I want two bread. You want mashed potatoes? Please. You don't want sweet potato casserole? Daddy burned it just a little bit. He went to, he ran to the bathroom and the broil was on. <laughs> it still looks really good though. You want mac and cheese? Yeah. All right, let me make your plate. Is it yummy, Kinsley? She's going to town. <laughs> I got my plate made. I got a little bit of everything. I'm so excited. Oh. This looks so good. I don't think I showed my plate last year, but I just did the Christmas tablescape and then we have the pumpkin paper plates. So I just stuck those. The yummy? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yummy. I'm so excited to eat. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. <laughs> I did the best I could with my Pottery Barn dupe pillows. <laughs> with Thinky Lay in here. Hi, how are you doing? What are you doing, Scratchy Bailey? Scratchy Bailey. Oh, always in the way. <laughs> I did the best I could do with her laying right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all these babies. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Are you taking a bath? Are you sleeping? Hi. Oh my goodness, I love it. These Christmas babies. Got Santa up here. <laughs> These three little babies. Oh my goodness. I tell you, precious. You so precious. They're just living their best life. I love those new pillows. They made me so happy. <laughs> I got those at Aldi and they were only $9.99 each which is like such a good deal compared to the Pottery Barn ones. <laughs> Sweet babies. <laughs> I love them. They usually do get up here and lay on this blanket. They think it's like their bed. <laughs> Hi. Mm, you're so cute. Mm, you're so cute. Mm, yes, you are. Oh, you're going to give me a bath? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, because I need a bath. Thank you. Need to be girls. <laughs> really quick, I wanted to share <laughs> the cat's Christmas presents so far. So this is one that they got early because they've already started using it. So I'll either lay it here by the tree or we've been laying it on the edge of our bed or on the couch and they love it. And it had like, I got it at Ross and it had like little kitties and puppies on the, um, like on the tag or a cat and a dog. And it's got like little bones in the tree and little paw prints. I didn't even notice that. And then <laughs> I got them some toys, which they've already been trying to get into. This one is like one of those little wand things. These, this is all from Ross, I think. Um, and I got this one, which I'm thinking, let me know in the comments. Do you think I should go ahead and let them have this stuff? Like since it's Christmas related, um, so that they can play with it. <laughs> they've already like been trying, you can see they've been, They've been some naughty little kitties. They already <laughs> like tore this one off. Um, but they've been trying to play with it. This one's from TJ Maxx. And I think that one's TJ Maxx as well. And then these I found at TJ Maxx. And they're so cute. I got these little gift boxes for them. At TJ Maxx, they were $2.99. So I got this design. And then I thought it was cute. And then uh, they also had this design. Which this one has a little like kitty that reminds me. So this little kitty and this little kitty reminds me of Violet. And then this one reminds me of Ginger. Because she's like a tortie. So she's got like the black and the orange on her and then there's a white cat like stinky and then <laughs> there's a gray kitty like stormy like how cute are these i got these to put their little gifts in i know it's extra but it makes me happy and they probably don't care but because <laughs> they're cats but i just thought it'd be cute to like take their little toys and 
put their you know little toys in their gift boxes i thought that would be so cute but this is what i got them so far so far we already let them have the blanket and they've been enjoying the heck out of it because my husband used to always say their mom her name was constance and he used to always say that rudolph reminded him of constance because like, i don't know her eyes like she had some big beautiful eyes and that was their mama and she passed away um when they were born so like that you know, it's just special to us, but this will probably be their year round blanket, honestly, even though it's Christmassy, but super cute. And I just couldn't resist when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to love these because they are very playful. So let me know if you think I should just go ahead and give them this stuff. Like, should I go ahead and let them start playing with it? I think I should, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll probably just get a little basket and put their little toys in it. <laughs> be nosy. Maybe nosy kitty. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, they love their little blanket. It's like their favorite thing. She's like, what you got there? <laughs> what you got there? Is that for me? Can I have some of that? <laughs> you know, I wonder, does this have like catnip in it? It says kitnip. I wonder if it has catnip. I don't know. I've never given them catnip before, but. <laughs> Maybe nosy. Hey, nosy kitty. She's like, I know this stuff is for me. <laughs> and then they love their little cat tree. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So here is our Christmas tree. We have not decorated it yet, and we are gonna do it tonight. Hopefully the girls will participate. I think they're getting to the age where they just don't wanna participate as much, which makes me so sad and breaks my heart, but hopefully we can get them in here. At least we got them to put their jammies on. <laughs> they're getting to where they don't wanna match with us and all that anymore, but we did get the viral Home Depot tree, but I honestly, I'll be totally honest, I did not know it was viral when I bought it. Uh, I think I just got lucky <laughs> because I bought it in October knowing that this was the tree that I wanted. It is gorgeous definitely worth every single penny i love it so much um but again i did not know it was viral it just so happened to sell out like on um, the day after i bought it so <laughs> and then i have all of our tree accessories here which now i realize that these red velvet ornaments i got these on amazon amazon and i think everything else is hobby lobby except those are from aldi these do not really match with those, but we're gonna see, they probably look fine on the tree. They're just like a darker red. And then we have like, this is actually, I'll be, I'll be honest with y'all, this is the color scheme I was going for. And then everything I kept ordering online, kept coming in like I ordered like deep red and deep green and <laughs> kept coming in like bright red and like teal or whatever just not the right color but I have all these picks from Hobby Lobby and I really love these I'm super excited about those and then those I have I believe five of those from Aldi they were $4.99 $4.99 and I have five of them I think they're 12 foot each and I pulled them out just to kind of show um and then I have these bell picks I did use those on our mantle above the couch and then i have these picks um these were 5.99 a dollar 99 everything was half off from hobby lobby these are from last year so i figured i would just throw them on the tree because they're gold and sparkly and then these were also a dollar 99 and then so half off 2.99 before the discount and how much were these these were $3.99 before the discount, so all those are half off, but I'm really excited to get it decorated, and hopefully that the red, <laughs> different reds won't bother me too much. If it does, I guess we could always just take the, take these off, but I really love those, and then these will definitely look good. So let's decorate this tree really quick. In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Oh, 
the girls have gotten to the age where they don't really care that much about matching Christmas jammies and helping us decorate the tree which really breaks my heart I was so bummed out whenever I was decorating the tree because they are 10 now and I guess they just I don't know they I tried to get them to help me and they really didn't want to obviously I don't want to make them do anything they don't want to do they were just like I don't know. They just didn't want to do it. And then Lewis, he was tired, which I understand that. So he went to bed because it was getting a little bit late by the time I was decorating the tree. And yeah, so I had decorated most of the tree by myself, which is totally fine. I understand the girls are just growing up and they don't care that much about, you know, like doing stuff like this anymore, which really breaks my heart. I didn't think they were going to like get to that age so quickly where they just didn't care about you know the matching jammies i actually had to bribe them to wear their jammies um they don't really care to match with us anymore so this may be the last year of matching christmas jammies and decorating the tree as a family hopefully not the last year maybe when they're older i know whenever i was like that preteen kind of young teenage age i got that way with my parents like that i just didn't want to be as involved and then whenever i got a little bit to be a little bit of an older teenager i kind of wanted to be a little bit more involved again so hopefully they'll be the same way maybe by the time they're like 15 or 16 they'll come back around and think it's cool to like help us with things like this but yeah so i just decorated this tree and i think it turned out really beautiful you'll see here that i'll add like all the picks and we added the green and red ornaments and i think it really turned out beautiful we do still have to get a topper because this is a nine foot tree and we have nine foot ceilings so our topper did not fit up there <laughs> and we do need to get like a ribbon topper or something like a bow topper so i'm going to be on the hunt for that probably soon but yeah i think other than that it turned out really beautiful it's the spirit of the sea couple of stars but this is a nine foot tree and we have nine foot ceilings so <laughs> they don't fit so I may have to get like a bow or something and obviously like I didn't decorate the top too much because I'm too short and even with a chair it's hard for me to reach but it's fine um I think it turned out really beautiful I dimmed the lights so that it would be nice and sparkly and I got this Santa up here um but it's super cozy in here and I really love the way it turned out I figured you wouldn't be able to tell much that the ornaments were different colors
colors than the pics really from far away you can't tell but i think that is going to wrap up this video so i really hope you guys have enjoyed decorating with me for christmas this pretty much wraps up my christmas decorating on the inside i do still have to decorate the outside but i think all of my spaces are pretty decorated on the inside and I won't be doing a whole lot more decorating other than, like I said, the outside. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed and thank you so much for being here. And celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here. My winter wonderland. I'm walking around making small talk with to pass me by I share a laugh that gives me joy that everyone's having a good good time I hear those jingle bells people singing about love All rejoice when it's Christmas time And I hope again made new In the crowded streets calling Christmas time The ones we meet where the warmest smile Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Tori. Today's video is going to be a very casual Christmas tray double styling video. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I am not quite ready to decorate for Christmas yet, but I wanted to get the creative juices kind of flowing, get some ideas going, and I figured why not make a video if I was going to be whipping out all my decor anyways and just trying to play with it and style it a little bit. So I wanted to make this video because I thought it would be fun. It's a little bit different. I don't think I've ever done one quite like this other than like the Hutch styling videos, which is sort of kind of the same concept. But it basically gives me a chance to just play with my decor and figure out sort of what I want to do with it and also give you guys some ideas and inspiration. But I really hope you enjoy and yeah, so let's get into this video really quick. I wanted to share with you guys, I did get some new shelves in my kitchen, also in the living room. The kitchen ones are decorated, but the living rooms are not. So I'm going to share with you the kitchen ones really quick before we get into this video. And I'm so excited. They turned out so good. <laughs> So here is our new floating shelves in the kitchen. They're sort of like next here to the cabinets and the microwave. And I do need to get maybe a few new pieces, but I kind of wanted to, actually these are new, you haven't seen these yet, but y'all will not believe I found these on eBay for $50 for the set, which is such a good deal. Like if you know those like vintage salt and pepper mills are very expensive. So I was very excited to find those, but I just used stuff that I already had up here. Other than that, I kind of just stole some things from the hutch and this picture frame I've had for a little while. I just took a picture of us with Chef Mickey because I thought that would be cute considering like it's in the kitchen area, but also like I made it black and white. So it's still very neutral, but it just makes me happy whenever I walk past it and look at it but I think they turned out super cute and once I get the living room ones decorated I will share those with you guys as well I've got all my different trays and bowls laid out here on the island I will I'm gonna move them over there probably so that I can just cut, sort of bring like one or two over here at a time to style so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it but we'll see um like I may do a couple at a time and then show you up close and like talk about them for a second. But um, I have most of these are from my friend's consignment shop. Like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one are all from her shop. And that's a local place called Salt and Light Consignments. And then I've got a few like TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Thrifted, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby. This one is from um, 80 Acre Market. And this is Target. And then this one was Kirkland's. So I am just going to try to bring out some of my decor and get some ideas and also give you guys some ideas, try to get some creative juices flowing. Like I said, just want to play around with it before we actually start decorating for Christmas. But I thought this would be fun to share with you. So yeah, let's get into this decorating video. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do this, but I think this will work the best. Um, I've got all like the bowls on here first, like dough bowls and 
those bowls and I've brought some decor in here that I knew I wanted to use for this idea um and then I've kind of got like the trays and that cake stand over there so I'll do that next but I think I'm gonna like go ahead and like speed through like show you guys like probably just like a speed um clip of me like styling these and then I'll show them like individually up close and yeah I think that's how I'm gonna do it I think that'll be the most effective way to do this video so we'll see <laughs> And from far away, we hear bells that chime, stating Santa won't be late. And deep in our hearts, we will carry a song heard through the ages from angels on high. All the Christmas lights bring a special glow on a special night. Every child awake for at Christmas time, there is magic in the end. time for joy it's a time for peace let's give a voice to the ones in need let us say a prayer that this christmas time bring the best of all in us and deep in our hearts we will carry a song around for it's christmas time a merry sound and the stars alight let us all rejoice when it's christmas time and a hope again Last night, so I'm just, I'm just checking in. It's been far too long now since I last saw you, my friend. So happy Christmas from me to you. Hey there, buddy. It's just me again. Wonder what you're doing now And if you're listening I just wish there was some way Things could have been different But happy Christmas From me to you Out of my life that time 
And I guess I'm still wondering Do you still think of me sometimes? Or have you truly moved on? Anyway, happy Christmas From me to you oh. Happy Christmas From me to you ideas I do need to like arrange these better but just you know trying to play with things and like um whatever I just think these like ornaments it's like I don't know maybe I should take these out I feel like if I take these out it doesn't well I guess so it sort of like doesn't look like enough to take them out but um also those um it's kind of like I guess I could just if I could arrange them just right, I feel like it would look really good. Or maybe if I had like one more to go in there. But I have these. I got these at Goodwill. The little rusty bells. I thought those were really cute for Christmas. And then this is from Amazon. I thought that was cute to just stick in that little bowl. These are perfect just to like pop somewhere. You know, just to add like that little Christmas touch. This is like the super simplest idea ever. Just take some ornaments. And that's pretty much like what I did for all of them. <laughs> but just take some ornaments and stick it in a little dough bowl. And it adds that Christmas touch. And yeah, I love this. I got these on Amazon. I thought they were perfect as like bowl filler or to go on the tree. I think I'm actually going to use them on the tree. But then I'll come closer to these ideas so you can see them better. <laughs> Okay, I brought them closer over here. I'm sorry, the kitchen is like sort of messy behind me, so that's why I'm not like walking around and showing them. I'm just kind of like trying to get the good kitchen angles. <laughs> but um, this is like, this is Lewis's favorite. He's here and he said, this is his favorite. And I agree, I love this. I think it's so cute. I found these little ornaments at TJ Maxx and they are so beautiful. I found a pack of those and a pack of these. And I just took these little Amazon twinkle lights. And I feel like, of course, if I got them angled in there just right, they'd be so beautiful. Um, this dough bowl is like my favorite thing ever. It was a new find from my friend's shop. Love her place. It's, she always has so many rustic items like this. And then these are just Hobby Lobby stems. I feel like they're so beautiful. Now, I don't know because I had a centerpiece idea and now I really like this. So I may want to do this for the kitchen, but I feel like this sort of vibe is like more what I'm going for in our bedroom. So maybe not for the kitchen. Maybe I'll just stick to my original plan because it'll be like more... The style of what like I want to go for in here in the kitchen but I think these ornaments from Hobby Lobby are so beautiful and high-end looking and affordable for what you're you know for what you're getting I feel like they're really affordable but I love these ideas I think they're so beautiful you could even put the lights in this one but I figured since I was putting the lights in this one that I wouldn't do both of them so it you know sort of like the same idea <laughs> same concept with the ornaments to just use like the more neutral ornaments I think this is so beautiful and I just love how everything turned out so cute so now I guess I'll bring some trays over here and we can try to play with some trays or maybe I can bring that other dough bowl right here and try to like restyle some so we'll see okay i'm just taking a little snack break but look how big these christmas tree cakes that lewis got at walmart are <laughs> we haven't even went trick-or-treating yet but this video will be live after halloween so it's okay for me to eat this but um i was just like taking some pictures for my thumbnail and look how big this thing is it's huge that maybe these little houses would work in here but I feel like maybe they're too small or I'm sorry the bowl is too small but I thought this might be a cute idea I mean I guess it doesn't look that bad but it would be cuter if I had like some greenery to go down in it actually I kind of like it oh <laughs> uh, let me turn it around what do y'all think do y'all think that's cute I don't know if you're kind of like like looking at see it's a mess back there I'm sorry it's like so messy <laughs> um but if you're like looking at it like it's off on the like middle shelf of the hutch and then it would be really cute if I could find like some really thin like garland or something to go around like a very thin piece of garland 
to go around. I feel like that'd be cute. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not cute at all and I'm just crazy. But I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging it. Um, but I probably... I think I am going to use these little houses. They're so cute, aren't they? But I think I am going to use them on the hutch, but I probably won't put them in the little dough bowl like this, but we'll see. I was just trying to, I looked at them. I was like, well, maybe that would be cute. So let me try it really quick. <laughs> okay. The girls just got home from school. So sorry if they're in the background being loud, but I laid out my trays and I brought some Christmas decor in here and also like some everyday, like, um, everyday decor. So I'm going to like set this stuff out and then I'll put the Christmas decor out and I'll like kind of cut tags as I go. Um, so yeah. <laughs> now with the trays it's getting kind of hard to see what I'm doing so maybe I'll like move some things I think I'm pretty much done for this style so this was like one style I was thinking um I just got this little this is a candle I've never lit and I've actually had it for a couple years it's so pretty and then I got that new little candle holder base that's really cute these little deers and the vase so I'll like start moving stuff out of the way because I realize now like with the stems it's getting hard to see what I'm doing 
Okay, I brought it over to this corner. That way I could kind of do, with the trays, it's a little bit harder to see what I'm doing because like the height. So I'm gonna do that from here on out. So I just wanted to show this first little style up close. And then, I'm sorry, the girls are just being so loud in the background, but um, they're excited because we're going trick-or-treating in a little while. I just wanted to go ahead and get this film before I take them trick-or-treating, but isn't that just cute? I love it. Um, but I'm going to style the next one. I may, I don't know if I'll like restart or just like continue on with the gold tray. I think I'll just like bring each tray over here and style it um, from the rest of the video. Together. Let your love keep shining. a really cute idea but the greenery is honestly making it really hard to get these to stand just how i want them and the ribbon i ordered from amazon was supposed to be like a burgundy like deep red color and this is definitely like a bright christmas red but it's okay it's still really pretty but i really like the way this turned out i think this is more than likely something i'm gonna do for the hutch because i wanted something like this for over there to give it that like christmasy sort of like the vintage gold bells and then the pops of red and the greenery i think this is really cute i do sort to wish the ribbon was the color in the stock image but it's okay it's still really really pretty and Christmassy but this is definitely one of my favorite looks <laughs> 
Okay, I just looked at like a Pinterest image, like sort of where I got the like idea of the three bells from and because I was thinking that something didn't look right with the ribbon and they sort of had the ribbon like to the side. So I do think this looks better, um, but let me know what you guys think. I think it's so cute. I love the pop of red that it adds to, um, adds to it, but I think it does look better to like kind of pull it to the side instead of having it like up top like I had it to begin with. cute one i absolutely love this candle i think it is adorable i love it because you know i'm really into the gold bells i think along with like me and everybody else <laughs> a lot of other people they're very 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 trendy this year but i think they were last year too i saw a lot of them in decorating but love them so much i think they're beautiful and again i just had that red ribbon on got my minka pot from anthropology I got a lot of questions about that i will have it linked and it'll probably be like in the affiliate um, shop so if you do buy through that link i do earn a small commission and then i have my little pottery barn dupe deers and my a floral dupe stems from kirkland's i love this oh, idea i think no. this is so cute very very cute not what i had planned for these deers but honestly like this is just the cutest thing i may have to put this on my dining table but i do like to keep like sort of functional things up there like salt and pepper and coasters oh, but this is very very cute Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. I think this might be the last little style that I do because we do need to get ready to go trick-or-treating. But this is sort of like what I've been doing for the little corner in the kitchen. Um, these candles, one of them is like actually a darker red than the other, but it's okay. Um, I do have more, so maybe... I can find some that like are this darker red, but I love this candle. I got this at Big Lots. And then these are some antique uh, candle trimmer and snuffer set. It's so pretty. I love this tray, my Minka pot. And then I found this little bouquet at Michael's. And then the candle holders are from Hobby Lobby. So yeah. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's decorating video. And I hope you will subscribe because I'm about to be starting my Christmas decorating series on my channel and i'm so excited so i hope you guys will subscribe if you're not already and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for being here whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true